Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over Top Tail, which is a get to know yourself fellow human party game by Yub Nub Games. Now this actually plays 4 to 10 players and it's not like most party games that you see like Cards Against Humanity or Apples to Apples, it's a lot more social and more or less you don't necessarily need to win, it's more to just get to know each other. This could play in about 30 minutes, maybe even less, maybe even more, it really depends more on your gameplay with the players that you're with and plays for 14 and up. Now the biggest thing that sets this apart from other party games, you do see in a lot of party games but not enough to really justify me not saying that, is the fact that this is a group effort. You're not relying on a judge uh, to say, hey, this is the card that wins. Because now as a group effort, you're not just catering to one specific person's humor type which is tragically boring after a while, you need to worry about what's genuinely funny, what's generally funny. So why don't I give you a quick rundown of the game, uh, show you a couple cards, and I'll tell you how I feel about this. This is gonna be relatively quick. For obvious reasons, it's a social party game. So what I'm gonna do is show you a couple cards without spoiling too much and kinda of go over what to expect. A person will draw a card, read the prompt, most profound words of wisdom, Everyone will take turns telling their experience with this prompt. Then everyone will vote who has the best one. They'll get the card. Now in the case of a tie, another card is drawn and those two or three or however many people will do it again. What my parent made me eat. So then you'll vote and you'll find the, the, the winner. Now let's say people take too long. You can always put a timer. Yeah, so some of the prompts are pretty neat here. Scariest place you have gone. My proudest accomplishment. Oh, hold on. There's a prompt here. Uh, like this video. The household chore you hate to do. You know, of course, the, the, the prompts are very broad. Definitely gives people an opportunity to speak. It's so broad that even people who claim to not be a creative person can answer it. Strangest place you ate a meal. Come on. Everyone knows behind a movie theater because you still have popcorn left over and you're still waiting for your parents to pick you up because you're still 13 is a weird place to eat popcorn. Also, a neat thing to point out, if you get a copy of Top Tail, they actually give you a code where you could download um, the game mobily. So one of the biggest things I enjoy about this game is the fact that it's a group effort game. Like I mentioned earlier, I can't stand the Judge Czar experience because of how boring the game can get. Every single person has a certain type of humor. And when it comes down to games like Not This, you're just throwing cards out there that just has something funny to them. It doesn't even work, relate, or experience the same for everyone else. It's a very lighthearted game and a perfect game to bring out if you're not looking for like a game night experience or if you don't want anything too excessive. This is very portable, something you can play in between other things. Since this is a party game, you could expect that a lot of the prompts are going to eventually sound intertwined with the rest of the social party games, but I mean, you're buying this game for a good time. Longevity for social party games aren't necessarily that long, unless you always have like a rotating new group. So it's nothing too out of the ordinary if you are a person that's looking for a party game. You already know what to expect. Another thing to notice is it does say the OG volume one meaning there's definitely going to be more volumes that you can add to the game which does kind of um, drag along in not a bad negative way how long this game will last necessarily keeping it dust free because it will find its way back out onto the table <laughs> and of course uh, since this is a typical social game much like other social games the biggest thing I don't like about this is there's nothing really groundbreaking about it. You pull a prompt and everyone gives their feelings, opinions, story, and then you vote on it. We've seen it before. Not a bad thing, just uh, another party game. But what does that all mean when you put it together? Well, in my opinion, it's a decent party game. The fact that it's a group effort on voting really does make this stand out over other party games. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me that hates the judging of one person because it really just sucks being like, oh, well, this person likes nasty humor. This person likes 
very deadpan humor. And then just finding a card, not even reading the prompt and throwing it out there. Honestly, I could not stand those games. I refuse to play them. I have a better time not playing them. But something like this, in a large group of people, getting to know each other, I don't know, maybe uh, settling down from a, a long night, maybe it's a family uh, outing, it works. It really does. So if you liked this video, go ahead, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to see more. I would also like to know, what do you think? Is this your style of party games? What kind of games do you like?